Hey guys, make sure to send your DNT if you make one common mistake you may end up spending thousands of dollars on tools, parts and diagnostic that you may actually not even need. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW X3 X4 that generation here from year 2010 to year 2018. If you have one of those, you have a problem guys where your cigarette lighter does not work. It could be the one in the front, the armrest, the rear or in the trunk. Still this will explain what causes that. It's super simple fix. Nine out of ten times it could be something else as well. We'll talk about that. We'll guys explain where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, please make sure you stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, fuses, uh, bodywork, a little bit of everything. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can, all we need in return. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. And guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time we're going to put links in the description of the video below for your convenience check it out that way do not waste your money guys also we will have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels check them out guys we'll have videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs as well so let's start on it now so guys this bmw has many hidden fuse boxes that most people do not know that they even exist you have up to five or six different fuse boxes and for many of you okay some of those are special fuse boxes kind of like this one here if you don't know about them guys we'll recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on bmw x3 x4 check it out it can save you thousands of dollars in repairs so guys, if a cigarette lighter does not work, what you need to check, we will demonstrate on this uh, BMW guys, X3, X4, as you know, BMW X3, BMW X4, they're built on the same platform, so it should work for both. The first thing you want to check, 9 out of 10 times, that will be a bad fuse, guys. We need to check multiple fuses, I think it's 2, 4, 6, 8 fuses in 2 different fuse boxes. First, we're going to start by opening the passenger door. Open the glove box, remove everything out of the glove box. In the very back on the right, you have that cover. Press that tab, pull that cover out behind it. You're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays. Fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not. For instance, I'm going to pull one fuse here, okay, and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good, they're bad. And let's say you think you have a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up having problems again and you spend time, money, you buy parts, diagnostics, you pay for services that you don't need guys, you practically wasted your money. So all you have to do waste, uh, ch ch check your fuses that way you don't waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it. it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well here we need to check two fuses guys but then we need to go to a different fuse box and check up to six more you may have all of them you may have some depending on which model year uh, and uh, how many power outlet cigarette lighter sockets you have guys so the first one that you need to check is fuse 65 we're talking about this fuse right here the second one is fuse number 54 so we're talking about this fuse right there then open the trunk remove that cover on the side leave that insulation up, uh, lift that insulation piece up behind it you have the main trunk fuse box okay that will have a layout like this one here and what we guys need to do here now okay multiple fuses will need to be checked 107 is the first one 107 here then you guys need to check fuse number 111 we don't have that one but if you have it check it also 143 
and 144 these two fuses right here will need to be checked after that guys you need to check fuse 171 if you have it and 176 now if all these fuses are good cigarette lighter still doesn't work or when you try to charge electric device it still doesn't work could be a bad cigarette lighter socket if you want to always check to make sure on the bottom you don't have a coin like a penny coin anything metal key dropped inside because it will keep popping that fuse and sometimes it can burn the socket if you want to see how to replace cigarette lighter socket on a car we have the videos on our channel but nine out of ten times will be a bad fuse and uh, after that check your socket or the connection where the wires connect to the cigarette lighter socket on your bmw so guys if you need to buy uh, parts, tools, fuses, relays for your BMW with a good price, quick shipping guys. We're going to put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them from because we have very specific fuses, especially these little fuse boxes guys, those could be really hard to find. You can see like the one right here as well guys and we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping as well. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful. If you have any questions let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.